And right here on this installment of the Brass Show, and we're going to be running down to Sasha Banks and John Cena and Samoa Joe. All the latest, greatest news details with my view, my opinion, and my analysis as found online. As an update on Sasha Banks turning heel, not for the first time in recent months, talk of a Sasha Banks heel turn is once again making the rounds. Cage side seats are rather tentatively reporting that there's more talk of Sasha Banks turning heel soon. Echoing the sentiments of Dave Meltzer in this week's edition of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Meltzer noted that Banks' recent defeat to Bailey on Raw felt like the start of a Banks heel turn. Share, subscribe, smash that bell, and donate or buy my official Show and Dread merchandise. You can do so by clicking the link in the comment section of the video. All sizes, shapes, colors, adults, kids, whatever it may be, even for babies, we have Show and Dread merchandise for everybody. Click the link in the comment section. John Cena moving to Raw soon for a huge rivalry with Samoa Joe. Huge update on John Cena's Raw dates because John Cena's been a staple on SmackDown Live, which would make sense because that's where he started his career. John Cena now a free agent, and if the reports from Wrestling News Co. are to be believed, he will be wrestling on more Raw events starting as soon as August. Good, because I'll be going to Raw and SmackDown in Boston and Providence in August. Sean and Dan will be in Providence, Rhode Island at the Dunkin' Donuts Center for SmackDown Live where John Cena will be. And I will be at Monday Night Raw the night before in Boston at the TD Garden where the WWE Universal Champion Brock Lesnar will be. Originally, there were plans for Cena and Samoa Joe to feud heading into WrestleMania 33. How are those plans for Samoa Joe to dominate Cena and write him off WWE television for months? However, the decision was made for the Destroyer to move to Raw instead. But John Cena's new status as a free agent on WWE programming has given the powers that for that option to begin in a massive feud between Cena and Joe soon. Now, even though those rumors were originally scrapped, it's now looking like it's back on the table where Samoa Joe will destroy Cena so Cena can take yet another sabbatical and be written off television, and that would be the best way to go about it. So, ladies and gentlemen, your comments and your opinions, and what do you think about Samoa Joe going against John Cena? Now, is that believable? Do you think that's real? Do you think that would look good, Samoa Joe destroying and beating John Cena? And what about Sasha Banks turning ill? Viewers and subscribers, I think it's a long time coming. They've been teasing it. They've been previewing it. They've been alluding to it. And now I think it's finally going to make sense because Sasha Banks is at her best when she is a heel. Especially losing to Bailey. She did not look none too pleased about that. And I don't think Bailey's chin is going to be too good at SummerSlam when she goes against Alexa Bliss. Because I think at the end of the day, Sasha Banks is going to steal the show any other way. Share, subscribe, smash that bell. More to come from the Brash One where we keep it prolific, consistent, and dedicated.